good morning. Welcome to morning prayer. My name is Reverend Jenny. Today in the church's calendar, we remember Nicholas Ridley, Bishop of London, and Hugh Latimer, Bishop of Worcester. Uh, they were Reformation martyrs, and um, it's their commemoration today, and they died in the year 1555. So let us worship together, O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake, refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence. Strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 98. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His deliverance has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord, all the earth, break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sound praises before the Lord the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, the world and all that dwell upon it. Let rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the world and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. First reading is from Ecclesiasticus, chapter 22, beginning at verse 6. Like music in time of mourning is ill-timed conversation, but a thrashing and discipline are at all times wisdom. Whoever teaches a fool is like one who drives pots herbs together, who rooses a sleeper from deep slumber. Whoever tells a story to a fool tells it to a drowsy man, and at the end he will say, What is it? Weep for the dead, for he has left the light behind, and weep for the fool, for he has left intelligence behind. Weep less bitterly for the dead, for he is at rest. But the life of the fool is worse than death. Mourning for the dead lasts seven days, but for the foolish or the ungodly it lasts all the days of their lives. Do not talk much with a senseless person or visit an unintelligent person. Stay clear of him, or you may have trouble. And be spattered when he shakes himself. Avoid him and you will find rest, and you will never be wearied by his lack of sense. What is heavier than lead, and what is its name except fool? Sand, salt, and a piece of iron are easier to bear than a stupid person. A wooden beam firmly bonded into a building is not loosened by an earthquake, so the mind firmly resolved after due reflection will not be afraid in a crisis. A mind settled on an intelligent thought is like a stucco decoration that makes a wall smooth. Fences set on a high place will not stand firm against the wind. So a timid mind with a fool's resolve will not stand firm against any fear. Anyone who pricks the eye brings tears, anyone who pricks the heart makes clear its feelings. One who throws a stone at birds and scares them away, one who relieves a friend, reviles a friend, destroys a friendship. <clears throat> Even 
if you draw your sword against a friend, do not despair, for there is a way back. If you open your mouth against your friend, do not worry, for reconciliation is possible. For as reviling, arrogant, disclosure of secrets, or a treacherous blow, in these cases a friend will take to flight. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Behold, God is my salvation, I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord is my strength and my soul song, and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. The New Testament reading is from John's Gospel, chapter 13, beginning at the first verse. Now before the festival of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God, and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe and tied a towel round himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet also, but my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean, and you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. The Benedictus. You have set us free from worship. She, the Benedictus, you have set us free to worship you without fear holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant, this was the oath God swore to our father Abraham. To set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to proclaim his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. <clears throat> you have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Let us pray. We pray for the day and its tasks. We pray for the world and its needs. We would pray especially for the people of Gaza, we pray for Palestinians and Israelis. We pray for Ukrainians and for all who suffer in war and violence and conflict. Lord, we pray for peace and for justice. Amen.
We pray for the church and for its life. We pray for Reverend Jo as she recovers from COVID. We pray for all those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. We pray for media and the arts, for farming and fishing, for commerce and industry. Those whose work is unfulfilling, stressful or fraught with danger. And we pray for all who are unemployed. We remember those who have recently departed and those whose anniversary of death fall at this time. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. O God, for as much as without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me this morning. Have a good day ahead. Bye-bye.